How does the cloud store your data? Let's start with a knowledge foundation of types of data. Data is grouped into different types, files, objects, or blocks. Files include documents, images, videos, audio files, and more. They're like directories in your PC. Objects are a more modern approach to storing data and are commonly used in cloud storage systems. Objects are stored in a flat namespace, which means they don't need to be organized into folders. Instead, they are accessed via unique identifiers. Each object contains not only the data itself, but also metadata, such as its content, type, creation date, and more. Blocks are the smallest units of data storage in many storage systems, including traditional hard drives and SSDs. Blocks are accessed and managed directly at a hardware level by using their physical addresses. Block storage is commonly used for virtual machine disks and databases. The real core of this operation are the storage technologies. We have disk storage, which I'm sure you know is hard drives and SSDs. Then there's object and block storage, which we just talked about. I want to note that in the next layers I talk about are not in chronological order. They all work simultaneously. This is the stage where your data is manipulated by the cloud. But it starts with data management. When managing data, copies of data are created and stored on different disks or servers for redundancy and availability. They also implement eraser coding, which is another rabbit hole outside the scope of this video. In the meantime, your data is being optimized for accessibility and performance. Data is scripted and divide it into smaller chunks and distribute it across multiple disks for faster access. Frequently accessed data is cached in faster memory or storage layers to reduce latency. Data is compressed to save space and duplicate data is eliminated. On top of that, your data is being organized. Flat namespace is used to store objects with unique identifiers, eliminating the need for traditional file system hierarchies. Data is also put into tiered storage based on access frequency and evenly distributed across storage resources for load balancing. And of course, each provider offers many storage services, offering services like object, file, and block storage, and the options of scalability. In the end, the cloud is just someone else's computer. You're better off preserving your data in a cryptically marked hard drive box under your bed.